respiratory system. Smoking, what happens if you smoke? Lourdes Malaysian Asinjo. Flipped Classroom Project, November 2016. 1. Parts of our respiratory system. These are the parts of the respiratory system. Nasal cavity. Mouth. Pharynx. Larynx. Trachea. Bronchi. Bronchioles. Alveoli. Diaphragm. 2. Your lungs. You have two lungs, but they aren't the same size. The lung on the left side of your body is a bit smaller than the lung on the right. This extra space on the left leaves room for your heart. Your lungs are protected by your rib cage, which is made up of 12 sets of ribs. Beneath the lungs is the diaphragm, a dome-shaped muscle that works with your lungs to allow you to inhale, breathe in, and exhale, breathe out, air. You can't see your lungs, but it's easy to feel them in action. Put your hands on your chest and breathe in very deeply. You will feel your chest getting slightly bigger. Now breathe out the air, and feel your chest return to its regular size. You've just felt the power of your lungs. 3. Inside your lungs. From the outside, lungs are pink like a sponge. But there are many things inside. At the bottom of the trachea, or windpipe, there are two large tubes. These tubes are called the main stem bronchi, and one heads left into the left lung, while the other heads right into the right lung. Each main stem bronchus, then branches off into tubes, or bronchi, that get smaller and even smaller still, like branches on a big tree. The tiniest tubes are called bronchioles, and there are about 30,000 of them in each lung. Each bronchiole is about the same thickness as a hair. At the end of each bronchiole is a special area that leads into clumps of teeny tiny air sacs called alveoli. There are about 600 million alveoli in your lungs and if you stretched them out, they would cover an entire tennis court. Each alveolus has tiny blood vessels called capillaries. 4. Movements of the respiratory system. Inhalation, air and inhaled, the rib cage expands as rib muscles contract. The diaphragm contracts and moves down. Exhalation, air is exhaled, the rib cage gets smaller as rib muscles relax. The diaphragm relaxes and moves up. 5. What happens in the alveoli? It's the alveoli that allow oxygen from the air to pass into your blood. All the cells in the body need oxygen every minute of the day. Oxygen passes through the walls of each alveolus into the tiny capillaries that surround it. The oxygen enters the blood in the tiny capillaries, carried by the red blood cells and traveling to the heart. The heart then sends the oxygenated, filled with oxygen, blood out to all the cells in the body. 6. How do we exhale? When it's time to exhale, breathe out. Everything happens in reverse. By now your cells have used the oxygen they need, and your blood is carrying carbon dioxide and other wastes that must leave your body. The blood comes back through the capillaries and the waste center the alveoli. The air that you breathe out not only contains wastes and carbon dioxide, but it's warm, too. Then you breathe them out in the reverse order of how they came in. The air goes through the bronchioles, out the bronchi, out the trachea, and finally out through your mouth and nose. 7. Keep healthy. Don't smoke. Keeping your lungs healthy is a smart idea, and the best way to keep your lungs healthy is not to smoke. Smoking isn't good for any part of your body, and your lungs especially hate it. Cigarette smoke damages the trachea, the alveoli because it causes the walls of the delicate alveoli to break down, making it much harder to breathe. The cells of the lungs so much that the healthy cells go away, only to be replaced by cancer cells. On the other hand, exercise is good for every part of your body, and especially for your lungs and heart. When you take part in vigorous exercise, like biking, running, or swimming, for example, your lungs require more air to give your cells the extra oxygen they need. As you breathe more deeply and take in more air, your lungs become stronger. 8. Risks of smoking. Now it's your turn, 
Find out among your family and friends who smokes and investigate the risks of smoking in their health. It is very important to raise awareness to give up smoking.